Three astronauts are heading home tonight, including Christina Cook. She spent 328 days on the International Space Station, breaking the record for the longest stint in space by a woman. And as Eric Sorensen explains, it's not the only record she was a part of, as women catch up to the achievements of men. The bell signals today's command handover to a new crew aboard the International Space Station. It caps a phenomenal flight for American Christina Cook. Cook's 11 months in space was only 12 days short of the all-time record for a single mission. Christina relocates the uh, APFR. Cook and fellow astronaut Jessica Meir also blazed a trail when they worked outside the spacecraft together, the first ever all-female spacewalk. She and I both really appreciated and um, loved that it could serve as inspiration for future space explorers. The very first woman in space was Valentina Tereshkova of the Soviet Union in 1963. She followed 11 men into space. Everyone wants to see and hear Valya. And was a hero in the Soviet Union, even if the description sounds out of date. She had seemed to be a strong, solidly built and vigorous woman. Tereshkova was the first and for a long time the only woman in space. The very first space traveler was Soviet cosmonaut Yuri Gagarin in April 1961. Over the next 20 years to April 1981, there were 103 astronauts, mostly Soviet and American men. And there was Tereshkova, one woman representing less than 1% of all astronauts. Today, after almost 60 years of spaceflight, there have been 564 astronauts in total. Women now account for 65 of them, or just over 11%. It's progress. Canada did its part to break through the atmospheric glass ceiling. Our first astronaut was Marc Garneau, but the second was Roberta Bondar. She and later Julie Payette performed every bit as well as the men who had gone before. And while women haven't caught up in sheer numbers, they have closed the gap as more embrace science and technology. As that pipeline of women in STEM and other underrepresented folks in the STEM fields grows, we hope to then capitalize on that and bring that innovation and talent into the astronaut corps. And someday, perhaps, the breakthroughs will come not just for being the first woman, but simply being the first, period. Eric Sorensen, Global News, Toronto.